Well, what we have here in this contraption is a bee vacuum that I've put together. Now you might wonder why would anyone want a bee vacuum? Well, I don't have a need for one at the moment, but if I did have a need for one and I didn't have one, then I'd be stuck. So I built one just in case. Anyway, th these are intended for doing removals of feral beehives, uh, what might get into a building or a structure, some place where you need to reduce the number of bees uh, and do it humanely without killing them, and you want to you want to be able to reestablish the hive. So I'm going to take it take it apart for you, show you what I did, and then I'll put it back together and plug it in and show you how it works. So of course, this is a standard five frame nucleus. And what I have is a top with a little bit of an offset so that it gives some room. And there's some uh, camper seal, like weather stripping here for air tightness. This is where the hose will go that will suck the bees in. Uh, this can cover when it's uh, not being used. And this is a a baffle to regulate the amount of suction here because if this is all the way closed the full amount of suction would be too much and it would kill the bees they would just go whipping in so you can regulate that by opening this okay so what what's in here well this is again a nucleus hive that I uh, had built and what I did was I made it with spacers so that you could put four frames in it. So the bees will be sucked directly down and then these frames give the bees something to grab hold of as you are vacuuming them up. And that sits on top of a plenum which distributes the, uh, the vacuum. And again, that's just a box, an airtight box with a bit of a screen in it. And again, more weather stripping and this is where the, the shop vac hose will go. It pulls vacuum down and the bees go in. So if I reassemble all of this, put this back together. There we go, is that. to design this for ease of use and then if you want to be able to get bees you put this on there here we have that and then we put a shop vac hose on that and now of course it's going to be difficult to hear and I'm going to get a uh, piece of paper to hold in front of this so that we can see the effect of opening the baffle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start the shop vac and then I will probably have to cut the uh, noise and do a voiceover. So what I'm going to do is first full blast which obviously would be way too much suction. That would just kill the bees. They'd go slamming into the plenum and then fully opened, it still has some suction. It can hold a little bit of paper. Uh, that might not be enough, of course, for getting the bees. So being able to regulate uh, up and down is, is good because you might also want to put a reducing nozzle on the end to get into a tight spot, in which case you'd also have to be able to adjust the baffle uh, to accommodate the additional uh, the suction. So again, just showing that uh, it can run a whole range. I was pretty happy with the way that that turned out because it seems like uh, it is able to do what I thought I designed it to do. So there you go. So there we have it, the Jack Jelly's Bee Vacuum.